let's take a look at what the ternary operator is. Alright, welcome back to the Java introduction here for Minecraft and Hightail modding. And in this tutorial, we're going to be looking at the ternary operator. Now, this is a very scary name for a very, very easy concept. So we have an exam here, right? So we have two integers. I've already prepared those. An exam with basically our score, right? 65 in this case. And then we also have a gift. So the idea is that, hey, if, you know, for example, if my son finally has, you know, actually passed the exam, I'm going to give him a gift. So we can say exam is bigger or equal than 50. Then we're going to say, hey, the gift is going to be, you know, 10 bucks. And else we're just going to say the gift is going to be zero. So something like this. Now, I already hear some more, you know, like veteran programmers say, well, you don't even need this else because this is going to be zero anyway. We're not going to worry about this. We're just going to say, hey, this is this is fine, right? This is okay. And this should be sort of understandable, right? When the person has passed, we're going to set the gift to 10. Otherwise, we're going to set the gift to zero. Should be fairly self-explanatory. Now, this is expressed in five lines here. Now, th that's not the worst thing ever, right? Like, line count, like I've already previously mentioned, does not mean good or bad. It just means, hey, this is how many lines you needed to sort of program this to make it understandable for other people as well. Sometimes we can use the ternary operator, which basically is the following. So we put in a, a Boolean expression at the very front here, exam bigger or equal 50, for example, right? And then we put in a question mark. And then the first thing that comes in here is going to be returned if this is true. So if this Boolean expression here is true, then we're going to return 10. Then we're going to put in a colon. And then the second thing is going to be returned when this is false, right? So true, false. It's pretty much exactly the same thing as this. And it's also going to well, print out the same thing. So we're going to say persistent print out. I'm just going to do gift. And then we're going to do gift here as well. So, and then when I print this out, we're going to have 10 and 10. So the general idea is pretty much the same thing. We have sort of an if statement here, and then just return this one if this is true, and this one if this is false. That's pretty much all that we need to do or understand the ternary operator. And it's not that exciting. However, once again, even if you say, oh, well, I'm, I would rather do it like this, that's absolutely totally fine. If you think that this is a better way of, you know, viewing this, totally fine. And I usually also think that if you have multiple if statements inside of each other, right? So if you have an if and then another if and then another if in there, at some point, if you were to represent that with the ternary operator, it would get very, very like cluttered very quickly. So I would definitely advise to think about where to actually use this. However, it's very important that you've seen this before, that you have this in your toolkit, just so that maybe even if you're looking at other people's code and they are using it so that you can then understand what they're doing. But that would be it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.